Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and today I'm gonna take you through the RESTful API using Lambda functions and DynamoDB. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive to it. So you have to have a few things available before proceeding like uh, one IAM account so uh, and AWS uh, uh, console access of course so inside users you can see uh, I have already two users I have created so you need to create new user from here and name it whatever it may be okay so uh, after that you need to choose access key programmatic and next uh, you need to provide the permissions I'm going to provide the admin permissions you can choose from here as well if you want like you can define here the optional tax as well but no need now for now so i'm going to create a new user after that i need to install a one cli of course so you can choose now uh, amazon cli from here okay here you just need to grab this once uh from here for your system you can install this thing and now uh, same i'm going to use sam cli uh, so sam cli is for the serverless uh, management so i'm going to uh, create uh, everything from this sam cli so you need to install this as well so you can grab the docker as well if you want okay docker uh, so for docker you can uh, install this from here okay docker desktop so that's it i guess these are the things and of course you need one editor and nodejs available inside your system so i already have it and i'm going to use vs code for this system so you can grab your vs code uh from code uh uh vs code we can say this one so code.visualstudio.com from here you can uh, grab your vs code so let's uh, open your editor so i already have it so i'm going to uh, create new folder on my desktop and i'm going to name it uh, uh whatever it may be it's all up to you what do you uh, choose like uh, lambda or we can say api api is better for now so i'm going to drag my folder on the top of my vs code and after that i just need to trust uh, this folder and open your terminal from here and uh, please make sure to you have sam available inside your system by sam have an open version after that you need to check by aws have an open version so that you now once you create these things uh uh, after that you will get this access key and uh, this secret key that you need to configure once you uh, once you uh, set up your AWS CLI so you can see you just need to paste uh, your access key here secret key here you select your region name region name that you can select from uh, here actually uh, choose your default region and make sure uh, that whatever the DB you are going to create is going to create in uh, this particular region okay so uh, th this is the default output format uh, you can choose as a JSON or YAML it's all up to you so, so that's it I guess uh, and uh, you can also choose this AWS uh, extension you can download this thing from marketplace you just need to search for AWS and after that uh, AWS toolkit will be available here and uh, those two secret and uh, ID you need to set up once here okay after that uh, you can uh, access all the things from here okay so I also need to create one bucket S3 bucket okay so if you don't have it already you can uh, check this from here AWS S3 LS means list of all S3 buckets I have three buckets if I want to create one then I'll I'll write S3 make bucket and S3 colon slash slash and uh, you can name it whatever the bucket name you know uh, and hit enter so uh, that's how you can create a new bucket we will need this bucket that's why I told you guys so after that you just need to hit sam init command and uh, it will ask for uh, like uh, the template that we need to choose is from a quick start so it's going to close this from this repo so if you want to go here you can click here okay follow this link and you can see there are lots of templates are out there for uh, node.js version okay and these are all the templates that you can grab this from here directly so it's all your choice that how uh, you close this thing from here so till then we can do few things
Oh, uh, so we got this thing already. So you can choose the hello world from here or you can choose directly serverless API as well. But uh, we'll go from the scratch and after that it will ask for a uh, Node.js runtime that you want to choose if yes. So yes, because we need a AWS SDK. So that's why I'm going to choose this thing. After that, we need to choose uh, the project name we need to define here. Like let's say REST API will be my project name. Uh, but uh, na uh, we can name it like... Uh, DynamoDB or uh, Lambda Lambda hyphen Dynamo DB let's say uh, this is my uh, name after that this is it it's created if I go here inside uh, Lambda DynamoDB you can see there is a hello world pro is there so I'm going to rename it to rest api and uh, inside that template you can see this is one of the best thing uh, provided by aws which is uh, cloud formation we can say so this template where we need to define everything all the cloud functions and dynamo db or uh, table structure we can say we are going to define here so what we have to do is we just have to remove this all the things which is uh, unnecessary and here we just need to define wave endpoint and once we define a uh, wave endpoint then we can we don't need to define this thing and uh, you can provide the description accordingly like i'm going to simply write the rest api because i'm going to create a rest api for now and here you need to define inside inside e rest you can see inside app or uh, there is a simple hello world or uh, function that uh, we need to check okay so this is uh, i'm not going to use try catch for now okay you can choose uh, to write try catch okay but this is very big enough friendly video so i'll stick to the basic code base only so this is this blessed hello world function we can say so here i'm going to fetch all users so i'm going to write the fetch all users here and so we need to grab this thing here as well so instead of hello world you can grab this thing here and this is my folder name so here you need to define the folder name rest is my folder name uh this is my function name and here also instead of hello world you can write your function name and here also you can write your function name and make it capital if you want which looks good and now we can proceed for the further things so further things means i'm going to uh, change my directory into rest okay inside ls lambda and inside that i'm going to change this to rest so we can install uh, our sdk which is aws sdk and i'm going to use nano id to uh, uh to provide the random uh, we can say uh nano ids okay so i need to connect connect to bash profile first you don't need to do this thing okay don't worry so nano id and aws sdk it will take some time to install till then we, what we can do is we can uh okay it's done actually so const uh, dynamo db equals to require require here aws sdk slash client slash dynamo db okay like this you can create and now i need to create a connection so for connection it, it's very easy just you just need to define doc client is equal to a uh, document client that's it so this is how i have connected to my uh, db so i haven't created db yet but we'll go through it okay after that here you need to define data inside that i'm going to use await method okay and await method will be my doc client oh, make sure to use new keyword here otherwise it won't work so doc client dot scan i'm going to use scan method where we need to define the table name and table name will be uh, users users db let's say so this is how it will work but uh, make sure to write promise uh, okay and after that instead of uh, here message i'm going to pass users and here instead of hello world i'm going to pass uh let's say data dot items okay so this is how it will work 
so this is it i guess which users is created now after that i'm going to create one user okay so i'm going to use create user and inside that we need to define now the item okay so item should have at least id so id will be my nano id okay make sure to import nano id which will be size of eight after that i'll be having a username uh, after that uh, password i'll be having uh that's it i guess and uh, email should be there and password should be there so these four things i have already so now what i'll do is instead of uh, here i'm going to simply return the message that the uh, user is created for now okay user is created that's it so now what i can do is uh, instead of scan we need to write put okay and instead of items i need to write item so this is how it will work so create user is done already i'm not going to use data so i need to remove this thing okay and i need to grab this thing once again and here i'll be using a delete user this time and in delete user you just need to use delete okay and here you you need to define key so inside that key you will be having id that you are going to get from event dot path parameters and dot id okay this is how you will get the id so you can pass the message here that user is deleted okay with id but deleted will be better for now so after that i'm going to get this thing and i'm going to pass this thing here in now one more thing i missed that oh, i need to grab this thing here so here i'll be using update user okay in update user it's a little bit tricky so update user will act as update where we need to define key at the same time we need to define attributes or uh, we can say uh, expression attribute values we need to define here okay this will be will get you and uh, you will be my item dot username that will fetch no worry uh, then we'll be having a missing post method as well now we'll be having user that i'm going to get from email and we'll be having password that we are going to get from uh, item dot password so this is how we'll get this thing from here okay and uh, this item that we need to get from uh, json dot parse and where inside event body we are going to get this thing okay so same thing goes here in post method now while creating user we need to grab this username uh username email and password so that's it i think so inside here update expression inside that update expression we can define uh that set or uh, username is equal to you email is equal to e password is equal to p so this is it okay so we got this thing so this p is coming from this now you got this thing okay so now you can define here return values as well so updated new that uh, you can return from here uh, this is it i think no need to define anything else user is updated for now now we need to take care about few more things like here i need to create a table okay so make sure to write uh inside resource okay so here 
here you need to create user table after that the, you need to define the type and your type will be your aws dynamodb table inside that you need to define proper properties inside that properties you'll be having now make sure you uh, to define attribute definitions which will be having id which will be type of string then you have to define key Here you need to define attribute name again id and uh, inside that you need to define key type will be hash okay and you also need to define few more things like uh, to put uh, with the units of two two this is it i guess we i i need to define table name here as well so user or uh, user db now let me check what i have defined so this is my user i need to define here this is my table name that is going to be created okay so here i also need to define policies okay so make sure to define policies after events this will be oh you need to define like this okay inside that you need to define table name and make sure to provide reference of a table name user table like this so let's see what's the mistake i have made So this is inside this so yeah this is uh, working fine now i think so we need to grab this thing for uh, three more time okay one two three so okay so we'll go from here one by one so i need to grab this thing update and here and uh, we'll get the id from here as well so please define id and change the method to post after that here i need to get a delete user okay so yeah i'll pass delete user with id okay and here also i need to pass delete user name it delete user and after that i'll be having one create user to define the create user here no need to pass anything okay this will be my post method this will will be my delete method and this will be my create user okay which user will remain the same and i think this is done now we can proceed for the further things this is get method oh this is post method this is delete method and this is update method so that's it i guess so we have created everything perfectly fine and let's see if i'm missing something map key must be unique 
of course this is unique no worries because this is defined four times only so now we can do one thing like we need to define sam deploy fn fn guided so in guided mode for the first time if you are de deploying something for the first time you need to uh define the guided mode while not form let me change the directory first then deploy okay so it will it will create uh the tier one file okay here you can uh, see you need to define lambda hyphen dynamo db enter us is to one yes 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 oh uh, you can choose uh this is something that you need to do for the first time okay it will create normal file okay so one thing i'm missing like i told you guys i need to create a s3 bucket okay if you get error here okay so you will have one default s3 bucket in your uh, uh like uh, aws but if you don't have it you can create manually as well so i have already created okay so i already have three s3 buckets i can see from here as well and i told you the command as well okay uh you can go back if you don't know aws s3 m mb space s3 colon slash slash and name of your whatever you want to create so uh you can create s3 bucket manually and what you will do is uh when you will get a file normal file here you can manually define the s3 bucket over there as well so it's all up to you so let's see if you get error so guided mode will be uh, just useful to create this normal file only okay so you don't need to do this uh, again and again okay Uh, so you can see this normal file is created so instead of this i'm going to use my bucket name okay this is my bucket name so uh let's go again and uh let's not do this guided this time and deploy this again that's it i guess this is all you need to know okay or uh, you can uh define this s3 if you want to create a new s3 here you can define this thing here as well but no need it's all up to you so oh yeah one more thing i missed that uh, this should be 10 so so this is something uh that is timeout okay so timeout should be 10 so uh, you can define the custom memory as well here by default the this is uh, 128 mp so this is something the config should be you should know okay so it will take some time to upload so uh yeah uh now it will ask for this thing uh yes you can deploy this thing uh choose yes so it will take time to uh, deploy till then you can uh, uh, install this thunder client okay so i'm going to use this thunder client for the testing so you can simply search for thunder client here okay and uh, instead of postman nowadays i uh, prefer to use uh, thunder client so this is very lightweight thing that you can choose so yeah let's see what happened just okay am i made any nobody goes back is not supported okay let's see in uh, table if you made some mistake this is my attribute name this is my key schema this is my key type okay dynamo db table this is my user table users db this is my name let me try once again so uh, i need to do this thing once again okay it might be happened because uh, the same name that i have used before as well to rest 
TPI, let's say. Uh, okay cool so this time it uh, might work and this time again it uh, it, it is using this kind of uh, s3 bucket so i again need to define uh, need to change this to dot Thank you.